all right guys what's up d570 motorhead come back with another video um today is a pretty big day i'm gonna try and accomplish as much as i possibly can with the wrx <clears throat> i want to get it rolled into the garage so we can start getting it painted because it's a very beautiful day it's starting to get warmer out for at least the time being so first thing on the list is i'm going to piece the rear end together I got the trunk lined up yesterday. I did not vlog it because I did it at night. Um, I'm gonna piece the rear end together. I'm gonna see if the taillights will work with the O2 bumper because I'm doing the O6 taillights. But, um, so we're gonna go from there and then me and Brennan are going to uh, try and piece it together here just to get it to a rolling chassis. That way I can get it into the garage but yeah guys it's <clears throat> trunks lined up it's very 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 close if not perfect right now got the o2 bumper and then we got the o6 taillights we're gonna see how it looks we're gonna see if it works and then once again we're just gonna try and get this thing to a rolling chassis for now and then uh we'll be on to the next uh next build session all right guys i'll check back in here once i start getting the bumper fitted seeing if the bumper fits up nice and then uh we'll go from there guys all right later bumper fitted up it's not 100 percent because i'm not going to throw bolts in it because we're just doing a quick test but fits up real good doesn't have clips in it or nothing like that so like once again we're just doing a quick test but uh even that just looks great now we just need to see if the 06 taillights are going to work with both the trunk lid and the bumper it's not going to be perfect obviously but if it's going to save me 300 dollars at this point in time in the build we're going to go with it so all right guys we'll be right back got the taillights in bumper fitted I think it looks great honestly the only thing is right here it's hard to see but right here we got that gap right here and then on the bottom side we got a big gap but you can't even notice it unless you're tied up against the car and honestly standing from here you can't notice anything other than that it is an O2 bumper I could care less, honestly. It's going to save me $300 just to paint this bumper because it's in fine shape. Nothing's damaged on it, you know. So, we're going with this. I'm not going to spend that extra money on the 06 bumper if I don't absolutely need to. Because either way, it's never going to line up with the trunk lid because it's a different year body. So, honestly, I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. This looks fine. This looks great to me. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the next step of what we're doing today, and we're going to try and figure out uh, going to try and figure out what we can do here. All right, guys, we'll be back with many more updates later on. All right, guys, what's up? We're back with another update. Um, so for today, we just basically wanted to get the parts back here, you know, get a little bit of a game plan ahead of us. And obviously, the car was sitting here. Well, it's not there anymore. We moved it up here so it was on the flat ground so we could actually you know safely lay under it and everything we got up on the blocks i pulled the front end back off because it's you know it's not finished yet it needs welded and everything i mean it's got it started but it's not there yet but uh for right now today the rest of today which we only got a little bit of daylight here yet maybe an hour not even probably but um for today we basically just want to get the tail lights set in get the get the rear end of the car together and then tomorrow morning we're going to come out and we're going to start right away probably i don't know 10 a.m and we're going to start digging into this thing see what we could get done uh we're going to try and get it to a rolling chassis tomorrow which shouldn't be too difficult we just need to pull the rear out of it that's in it now put the new rear in and then figure out the front end um, and go from there. It should be pretty pretty simple to do. 
So, all right, guys, uh, we're gonna come, we're gonna come back tomorrow, and we're gonna really start digging into this thing. I mean, as far as the build episodes go, this will be number two. I didn't obviously do a whole lot, but we didn't have a whole lot of daytime once you know Brennan got here, and we had to move the car, we had to get it up on the blocks we had to do all sorts of stuff i needed other people's help to help me me and brennan couldn't just do it ourselves um the mighty max is a tough little truck but she doesn't quite have the the pulling capacity to pull her up here where we needed it so all right guys that'll end build episode number two it's a really short video but you get the gist of what i'm trying to do at least and then tomorrow will be build episode number three where we actually jump into this thing and actually start making some progress on it to get it painted and start you know getting into the garage so we can start sanding it and getting her getting her to the point where we can actually start really seeing progress done to this car all right guys have a good night and tune in we'll be back with a lot more uploads to come